The screw mate works much like a concentric mate while also controlling the rotational and translational degree of freedom along an axis. Let's see how it works. I'll launch the mate tool and access the screw mate from the mechanical mate section. For the geometry, I can select circular faces, edges, or axis of each component. To control the rotation, I can specify it in revolutions per inch or by the distance per revolution. If this is a 632 screw, which has 32 threads per inch, I can use the distance per revolution option and type in 1 forward slash 32 to have SOLIDWORKS calculated for me. If the mate is being applied in the wrong direction, you can always use the reverse direction checkbox. I'll click OK and the mate is applied. When I move the screw, it will now twist as it threads into the hole. One thing to keep in mind with the screw mate is that it's important you understand that we're talking about simulation, not a true physical interaction between components. If you wish to simulate physical interaction, you must use the physical dynamics option of the move component tool.